Okay, so today I'm going to do a little bit of question and answer and then give a tour of the studio uh, has been requested. So I took some questions on Twitter, thought I'd just pick a few and uh, talk about them. Uh, so Jane asks, what kind of art do you like in your studio? As you'll see in the tour, I don't really have much room for art. Basically, the walls are covered because there's not a lot of space out here. I do have one print by designer Aaron Draplin, who's basically my favorite graphic designer. And uh, I'll show that off. I'll put a link to anything I talk about down below. And uh, I'll have a picture of this uh, poster as well. Uh, Matt asks, so I have a couple questions about podcasting. Matt asks, how do you record your podcast? Do you record locally in Skype audio? So we all at Relay use a tool called Ecamm Call Recorder. So it records the Skype track on one side and then your local audio on the other. And, and most Relay shows you hear, you don't hear Skype at all. We only use Skype to hear each other. and We edit together those local recordings. Uh, now I also run QuickTime to record my audio. I know that people use Audio Hijack or uh, Piezo or a bunch of other options. But the key thing is we edit together the local audio. You never really hear Skype at all if things go well. Uh, Christopher asks, what have you done for soundproofing? So I have lots of acoustic foam in this room. There's a bunch over here, there's some over the windows. Uh, this room is basically just a box and it was really important to get the echo down and kind of keep that under control. Uh, I'll have some links, I bought this stuff all on Amazon. Uh, Marco Arment recommended it to me and if Marco recommends sound equipment, you should listen. Some questions kind of about content uh, from Samuel. When trying to get your footing as a content creator, what do you think is more important? Uh, consistency, like daily uploads here on YouTube or daily posting on a blog, uh, or do you find quality more important? That's a that's a really good question. I think that absolutely it's important to show up every day. Uh, you know, for a long time, I mean, for the the vast majority of time I've been doing this, I've been blogging now for like eight and a half years. Uh, it wasn't my job, right? I was doing it, stealing time from work, doing it on my lunch break, doing it at night. But I still try to post something new to the website every day, and over time that helps build an audience. Uh, so I would say that's more important, but you got to make sure the quality is not in the toilet either. Have some kind of basic threshold of quality and that you can commit to without spending a lot of money, with a lot of time, and really just focus on cranking stuff out, sharing your ideas. Uh, he also asks, would you recommend sticking to a single brand or item space, like IE, you know, like Apple or coffee or something, uh, or a variety of stuff? So I think you should talk about what you're interested in. For me, that is... Um, you know, it's Apple, it's technology, but it's also journalism and design and photography. And, and so Five Pixel is about all of that stuff. It's it's about Apple, but it's also very much not about Apple. So find what makes you, you unique, you know, what you can add to the world that, that only you can add. And talk about that. Uh, Joshua asks, how do you handle studio noise? Again, I got a bunch of foam in here. Uh, the way this building is built worked in my favor. It was a concrete block building when we moved into this house and we built walls in. Uh, with so we can insulate it and that makes the walls really thick out. I mean this it's like a, a bomb shelter out here uh, There used to be a train if you listen to a bunch of my old shows There was a train that would go by I'm actually closer to that train track than I used to live But you can't hear it. The only problem I have now are my neighbor's dogs which are actually barking right now uh, Let's see what else uh, Brant asks, this is a good one. What piece of gear did you put off buying that you had to wish you had bought earlier? Uh, I would definitely say my iMac uh, back here, the 5K Retina iMac. For a long time, I was a MacBook Pro and external display user, and I still have a MacBook Pro. But having a space that, like, if I sit down at my desk, if I sit down at my iMac, if I'm in this building, I am working. If I'm not in this building, then chances are I'm not working. It's helped train my brain and my family and everyone to understand that, that you know, work is out here at my desk. And having a desktop makes that obviously a lot easier. Uh, the second thing I would say is probably this 70D, this camera I'm speaking on uh, right now. I used a lesser Canon for a long time and I really liked the quality I got out of this and it's uh, pretty easy to use and pretty affordable if you already have a bunch of lenses. Uh, let's see uh, what else. Aaron asks, where do you keep your Baxter tank? If I told you, you'd be able to climb in there with me and uh, I'm back to alone, Aaron. Let's see, uh, let's see what else. Uh, Zach asks, how many Macs are in your office? A lot. I don't know. I'll put a link below. I have a collection page up on the website. It's a lot. The number is really shameful. It's really out of control. How many of them are obsolete? All of them. I mean, really, I have very few things that run Sierra that aren't my workhorses. Like in my iMac and my MacBook Pro, I use and I, I use every day and I work on them. And uh, most of my other stuff is from the mid-2000s or earlier. I don't have much kind of in the modern range. 
Uh, really just because the last couple computers I've used, I've sold to bankroll new ones. And I did that with the iPhone too. I have very few old iPhones because I always sell them to buy the new one. So I think that's uh, I think it's a pretty good uh, question and answer session. And uh, so yeah, let's uh, show off the space. All right, let's do a, a quick tour. The larger side of the room, and I say that uh, sort of jokingly, it's not a very big space. So we've been doing YouTube. That foam backdrop has been uh, colored in the last couple of videos by that floor lamp. It's got a hue light bulb in each of those lights. I also have some storage over here. Because it's not a very big room, I try to keep everything nice and neat when I'm not using it. Things get put away uh, just to keep it tidy. But this side is really dominated by this heavy duty rack with the collection on it, of course. So up top, it's kind of messy. Uh, but this main shelf, I've got my Macintosh TV and Titanium Power Book and the 20th Anniversary Mac and some Power Books there in the middle. Down below, I have some of the iMac G3s. Not all of them, just some of them. And then down below, I have uh, some Power Macs, the G3 onward and a Mac Pro uh, down there as well. And this entire rack has hue lights in it as well, so I can change the brightness and the you know the color and everything per shelf. So kind of a nice way to illuminate the collection and have a nice video backdrop. On this side, the smaller side, I have my desk. That's just a door that I cut down and put some legs on. I have my iMac. Uh, I record over here, so I use the Shure Beta 87A as my microphone. It's here uh, on this boom arm. Uh, all my audio equipment is underneath the iMac, which itself sits on a Apple TV and a time capsule to get the height correct. My Lego Wally back there, say hello. Uh, behind my desk, I have a curtain that's actually hanging on a, on a, like a shower curtain rod. Some alligators there my wife picked out for me. That's to help cut down on echo when I record in here, so I slide that shut if I'm uh, making a show. Uh, over here, I have a hook for my backpack because I hate my backpack to be on the floor and get dusty and be in the way. And then just some more storage. Uh, video stuff, uh, electric stuff in there, and then in the file cabinet, iPods, and you know, kind of small stuff that would be messy if it's out, but I can kind of keep it hidden away in the file cabinet. So thanks for hanging out today. Thanks for uh, asking questions early. It was a lot of fun to answer those. If you have any more, leave a comment below. I'll be hanging out down there for a while, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.